what his name was. And he's like, Eric Bradley. I was like, oh my God. Pat was like, run. I said, oh, okay. Hi, we're back. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, so guys, we uh, we were trying to adjust Gail's volume a little bit. And we accidentally crashed OBS. So take two. Um, we were talking about OK Cupid and how it should have a rating system for abusive asshats. <laughs> And psychopaths. And really. psychopaths. Thank you, sweetheart Olivia. Yes, you the yes. best. No, definitely. Just say no. <laughs> Staying single is good, unless you have a unless you have a you know a, a meow in your life. <laughs> it really is funny that you. I I want to be wearing the ears. I know. I want Cheetos again, man. It's. Did I drop again, or did I go poof, or... No, we're good. You're perfect. I can hear you. All to the loud and to the clear? Yeah, I actually had my, my speaker turned up, because I'm just like, well, it's just on my end, but... Um, but it's good. It's not that... It was just you were a little low, so he turned it up until... You're not oh. a little low. I'm not, ooh, I'm a little high now. Teehee! <laughs> <laughs> I like you. <laughs> and guess what i'm sober still so that's even better you're so that's it's it's always good when somebody likes me because they're sober <laughs> well it's 12 o'clock so technically it's beer 30 somewhere beer 30 dude i want cheetos like <laughs> how about cheetos and a bottle of wine I actually have a bag of Cheetos downstairs, but it is currently unopened, and I need it just to stay that way. <laughs> mm. Are you just saying no to the Cheetos? Yeah, well, I just said yes yesterday. I'm like, mmm, Cheetos. It was because Jacob was sick, so he's like, I need Cheetos, so I went and bought Cheetos. And then I ate them all. Yay, I one shot at the boss. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm getting... Why is it that every time I click on that it wants to give me an advertisement? I don't want the advertisement. Oh, yeah. it's That's the, like, downside of Twitch is it'll run an ad before you start. <clears throat> like, if you refresh or something or if you just join. But okay. that's how they make money, so. That's understandable. There, I see your face. <clears throat> Have I had the red Cheetos? Um, the hot ones? Yes. But there's the... They're like a knockoff of that... What's the like the fire fries? Steven used oh, to yeah. Steven would have literal boxes, like boxes of them shipped to his house in when he lived in Florida. The hot Florida. fries. I think it was just hot fries. Flaming they're called flaming hots. Is that is that the Cheetos or the actual like brand of no, the red Cheetos are <clears throat> flaming hots, but the the flaming fries, those my god, that's like fire in the hole. Those were so deliciously awesome. I love those things. I mean, Steven would just eat them by the the bag. Oh, I mean, they're, they are, they are <clears throat> young. They are young, but oh my god, fire! I, I feel like stuff like that, you have to uh, continue eating it. Because if you don't, it does this whole thing where your mouth starts to catch on fire. But if you've got it constantly numb from the heat of the stuff, you don't really know that you're on fire. This is true. Huh. So one of your your followers said they crushed them up and bread them with chicken. I bet that would be good, actually. I can make it like a spicy chicken. Yum. Bread. So Mr. Dressed, him and I went to uh, college together. That mofo can cook. Um, I've never had his... Um, well, who was somebody was talking about that? Like they, oh, they were talking about Doritos. Like you take Doritos and crush them up and make like a crust, or Lay's and make a crust out of them. But apparently, yeah, that's like a thing. Well, yeah, and you can do it like because you can do it with like a uh, corn, um, like cornflakes and stuff. Corn. But my dad used to. He makes cookies. He makes these things called cherry wings. I cherry look. Wings? I crunchy breading just sounds weird. It's just, I mean, the way the way Jacob was describing it was weird. Is he dead? Dead? Yay! I beat the tower. I, 
I'm not going to say who that looks like, that thing with the big, like, hammer hands. Oh, that's Igarok. <laughs> More like a... We're not going to... Uh, I gotta figure out a nickname for her. Oh. Let's let's give her the nickname of Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fitting. <laughs> oh, love your face. Now, was what was, now can we can are we allowed to say what we actually what you guys came up with? The twunt. Love the twunt. Yeah. So we were trying to figure out Jacob and I were trying to figure out a um There's, you know, the C word and there's the T word for calling people bad names. So I'm like, there has to be something worse than that because this person is worse than, than both of those combined. And I'm like, well, how would you combine those? So we came up with twant. And, and it, it's such. like, it sounds just vaguely offensive, but not like... <laughs> Especially not so much like the C word, because the C word is a, it can be pretty derogatory. Oh, yeah. The T word is <clears throat> not so bad. Yeah, I feel like that's more of casual conversation. Yeah. But it's when for you everybody the C in C word, you England. really have hit a low. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. And, but no, twunt is definitely, she, she's a twunt. We, everybody has that person in their life. Ugh. That's twantalicious. Twantalicious. <laughs> you know, she's twantifying. <laughs> twant, 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 twantaliferous. Who am I fighting? I need water and light. Oh, she watched Twitch. Twitch. But, oh, this is true. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Twat is an everyday word in England. It, it, it's like common. It, yeah, that, that's it's why I don't like, feel like it's as bad. Where is... It's almost where's... like a term of endearment over there. <laughs> it is. It's like... I don't... There's certain people that are like, Yay, I'm out with my bitches! And I'm like, mm, If my friends called me a bitch, I think I would ground pound them. Because it's just not a fun word. Like, I don't want to be called a bitch. Your mom's a bitch. <laughs> I'm not <you> a bitch. <laughs> like, I don't like it. I don't think I've ever, like, called my people derogatory. Have I ever called you something derogatory as, like, a term of endearment? No. I, I think I, B's I, the I dressed is say, the only person hey, that's ever called bitch, me something. Let's go out. Do let's... what? You've never been like, hey, bitch, let's go out. Yeah, I don't, I didn't do the, like, mean girls phase of... No. 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 I, I, I don't do that either. You know. I think the only slightly derogatory term of endearment I've ever had, like, was because dressed used to call me winch because I dressed up like one for Halloween one year. Okay, well, still, that's oh. not really derogatory. Yeah, I'm like, that's, that's the only thing I can think of. Wow, this is going to take for freaking ever. I need these people to die. Okay, so are you, like, building up the power? Well, I still have that stupid days quest, and I have a challenge dungeon to do, so I'm like, well, I'll do both of them at the same time, but they're, they're armored and I didn't bring in the right people because I'm an idiot. I would not refer to you as an idiot. That um, not. when I play this, so this game is kind of, you have to use strategy, and sometimes oh. I don't. <laughs> so, I have made some very idiotic, uh moves in this game. And I'm like, all I can think of is freaking Doritos, man. Doritos and Cheetos, and I want them in my mouth. She's like, get in my belly. Get in my belly. <laughs> I like need to go drink a shake. So so I actually made um chia pudding, which is like the best thing on the planet. Jacob hates tapioca, so chia pudding is not his friend. He's, I actually brought a bowl upstairs, and it's just, it's I made it out of carob. So it's all chocolatey and delicious and just fantastic. And I put blueberries on top of it. Yum. <laughs> and I was like, hey, do you want a bite? And he's like, of what, diarrhea? No. Yeah. And where's mine? I'm So you take, it's a cup and a fourth of, um, 
coconut milk, like unsweetened coconut milk, and then a fourth a cup of chia seeds, and then you can use, you know, vanilla, chocolate, whatever you want to flavor it. I used carob. Um, and then a little bit of maple syrup. I think there was two tablespoons of maple syrup in the whole thing. And it makes like a huge jar of delicious chia pudding that apparently looks like diarrhea if you're Jacob. Nice. And <laughs> I hate when that happens. Don't you hate when that happens? I hate when I run out of vodka. These are bad things. I haven't eaten. I haven't. I haven't eaten vodka in a day or two. I haven't eaten vodka in a while either. So. I actually can't think of the last time I had vodka. Like the last time I remember having vodka was for my twenty-fifth birthday, and Adam and Chris and I were in. Um. Where were we? We were in Austin, Texas. And Adam got me drunk as shit off of Skittles. So it's like grape vodka and then Sprite, oh. like 7-Up. And they call them Skittles. And it just tastes like you're drinking a liquefied Skittle. So I drank all of it and was oh, incredibly it's intoxicated. In a... It's just like yum, yum, yum. Yeah, so I haven't been able to do vodka for a day or two because of that. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really a vodka girl. Um, I like... I definitely like my whiskey. <laughs> Do you really? I, okay, so Woodford Reserve, girl, yum, all to the yum, all to the yum. I feel like you and Jacob and B can have like a really good um conversation about whiskey. Oh, yeah, we could. Yeah, we could. Because I think whiskey tastes like gross nastiness. Okay, so if you're thinking like Jack Daniels kind of whiskey, yeah, you know, because I mean, there's different levels, but this one is actually, oh my god, so what, what Patty and I do is we um, take a shot of the Woodford Reserve and put it in the, uh, oh god, it's the, it's not your father's, but it's the ginger ale, not the root beer. Yeah, okay, and, not your father's ginger ale. And so it's like a, we call it ginger beer then. Yeah. Or ginger bourbon actually. So do a shot, put a shot in there, and then oh my god. Oh. So you mix that with um whiskey. With the ginger ale beer, yeah. Huh. Oh yeah. Okay. I do really want to try that um ginger ale beer stuff because I really like the root beer, but oh. I just like root beer so. The ginger ale is so yum. It. <laughs> It's, it's, it, it is. It's like bomb.com. Um. Um, yeah, no. So, it, I feel like the first time I went to Morgantown, I drank a lot of whiskey, and I associate it with really bad memories, so every time I smell it, I'm just like, Bleh. Do not want the whiskey. I actually put it in Jacob's tea last night. You know, if you, oh. Cause, you He's know, sick. I mean, it's, it's, it's all about the, you know, like, if you drink, like, top shelf, it's better. You know, if you drink, if you drink crappy whiskey, you, you, there's major differences in whiskey. Oh, yeah. But it's, like, major differences in, in um... Anything. Yeah. I made dark and stormy. Ooh, what is dark and stormy? Not my father's shit. Not my He, father's like, I don't know, he, so, he lives in a college town. Okay. So... He comes up with uh, some very interesting. <laughs> oh, I, I bet that was yummy with the rum. Oh, oh God, like probably with some Captain Morgan spice rum. I bet that would be yum too. <laughs> this was the guy that used to keep, like, he had all kinds of shit in his freezer. And I, I still, like, what was it? The limoncello or the. Oh. And there was like a hazelnut one. I really never knew what the crap he had. Oh god! Oh, that's what I told Pat. I said, I said, I think our house looks like we look like alcoholics live here. And he said, but we don't have any empty bottles. I said, I know, but we look like we're prepared to be one. Be <laughs> alcoholics? Seriously? I mean, between like we have like fourteen bottles. Uh, oh, Angelica, yes. Uh, like fourteen bottles of wine, beer, <laughs> liquor. It's like big grief. <laughs> I don't, we've got all of our stuff under the cabinet, and so I don't, I don't really drink that often, I think, 
like I drink wine more often than anything. But and then I like um what is that amarula? I really like amarula, but I mean I just don't I have haven't drank that often cuz I feel like I got really drunk a couple times and I'm just like mm, mm -hmm. do not want <laughs> do, yeah, do not seek the treasure. <laughs> at the store the other day it's mike's hard lemonade okay shameless you know i haven't had that in a while and it's um it's mike's hard lemonade watermelon oh. is it good oh. see that just sounds like it would be so why do you have a shield around you son of a whore so pat says to me he's like he's like yeah because it's pink he's like yeah i'll try the pink stuff i'm like <laughs> it's all pink in the middle um <laughs> Wait, what? So the Mike's Hard Lemonade is pink. Okay. And he's like, yeah, so I'm going to try the pink stuff. And I was thinking, uh, yeah, it's all pink in the middle. <laughs> oh, my God. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Gail says stuff, and then, like, five minutes later... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like the, the Mike stuff was... Like, lim the lemonade makes me think of, um... No, I don't... I didn't mean to do that. Um... I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I just would throw up. It's, oh, and, what, and Pat's response was, yeah, this is the stuff that's guaranteed to get you laid. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was like, God, it's so, it's that, it's the kind of drink that you just, you can, like, literally chug it and keep going because it's so sweet. It almost tastes like koi. It's almost <sighs> That makes me nervous. Because I feel like the sweeter... Well, I mean, I like sweet stuff, but I feel like the sweeter stuff is, especially if it's kind of vodka-y based, mm -hmm. the more I'm going to throw up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it... It. I was surprised. Because, like, okay, so the other night I had three of those. I did a shot of Patron. I did a shot oh, of... Oh! No. Oh, tequila. Blah. Um, Woodford. I'm surprised that I didn't pray to the porcelain goddess over that. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I totally, I didn't, and I didn't even wake up with a headbanger. I was like, oh, righty, yes, who rocks? Why was it shot of Palooza? Shot of, I don't, um, um, just having the, you know, unemployment boohoo moment. Oh. Is that, was, when was this? Was this Sunday? No, this was, yes, yes. You're like, no, yes. <laughs> Well, because you left me a voicemail that I finally saw that I had, and you said Sunday was a bad day. I'm like, oh, why was Sunday sucky? But that's because you drank enough to uh, kill a freshman. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why won't this piece of shite die? Die! Like, every other hit, he has a shield around him, so I'm only getting every other hit in. Die in every fire that's ever been ever. That is a copious amount of alcohol, and the fact that I was still standing is uh, miraculous. Um, yeah. It's, uh, but I don't drink like that often. It, it, that's once in a freaking blue moon to it ever come out like that, but yeah. I'm trying to think of the last time I drank, like, a lot, a lot like that. Oh, God. It's, that has been a first in probably years for me. I just, yeah. Like I said, I'm surprised I didn't have a headbanger. But, you know, a headbanger, that's so funny. The last time I got drunk was... <laughs> so, there's this really cool thing. I'm not going to mention it by name just because I got drunk there and it was stupid. But it's like, like this Catholic association of awesomeness and they do really cool things for um, handicapped people. And it was my first time there, my first time meeting all these people. And I'm like, yeah, we're going to help, but it's going to be awesome. And I, I mean, everybody's there Catholic and they're Irish and I drank so much. Huh? Were you getting drunk off the, the sacramental wine? No, it was freaking like, they brought this, this stuff that had like tomato. I'm going to vomit thinking about it because I was seriously so sick, but it was, um, it's like V8, but beer. Oh god. And it was so good at the time. Oh, I'm gonna puke. I can't think about it anymore. Blah blah blah. Nah. <laughs> 
But I drank so much of it with a bunch of Irish dudes. Well, if you're drinking with Irish dudes, yeah. Yeah. But it was just like, yay, we're all gonna- we're here to help out! Whatever. It was the Handicap Encounter for Christ, and it was fantastic, and they do this, like, um... In this area specifically, they do like retreats. They do a winter retreat and they do um, like a summer retreat. And you go and you stay the night in this Catholic church with like um, the bunk beds and stuff. And I mean, they've got everybody there that's like completely wheelchair bound. Um, one of the guys, he was in an accident. Bright, 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 bright guy. He was actually med student at Duke. Got in a car accident and I mean, completely can't move a muscle stuck in a wheelchair um they've got people with downs they've got people that are like mildly autistic to full out autistic but i mean they just they come and they hang out and they have like a prom they they dance and do crafts and they have mass if they want to go to mass and um they feed them and it's just like a fun time for i mean because a lot of them live in like group housing but they, they come and they have all this fun and they get to hang out with each other and see people that they normally wouldn't see and everybody looks forward to it. So, you know, after everybody kind of settled down for the night and it was after their, uh, they turn the lights off and have like the disco dancing and stuff because um, a couple of the, the gals really, really, really like to dance. But we were all, yeah, it was, it's like beer and tomato. I think it was like yeah. a Budweiser thing with beer in it. It was Clamato or something like that. I don't know. Beer, you can do um, like you can put vodka. Or I've seen people put Tabasco in it. Oh, yeah. this was just in a can. This was just straight out of a can, and I imbibed a little because I don't think I had drank in a while either. So it was it was gnarly. I I stayed up talking to a college student that was volunteering there like the entire night. I slept for two hours. I woke up still drunk, and I'm like, oh my god, I have to get through the rest of the freaking day. I was miserable, and you you have to be like happy and smiley because all these people are there to have a good time so i'm just like i got in the truck with jacob and i'm like i'm a bad person and i was just punished severely for drinking <laughs> somehow i don't think you're so is a red eye isn't that like the cure for a hangover too i'm just curious i have no idea the only cure for a hangover for me is not to freaking drink ashley you idiot you know, that's always a good option. That's, that's a good option. Yeah. So yesterday, after I did my whole, you know, go look for jobs, apply for jobs, and jobs, and some more jobs, um, I came home and I looked at Pat and I said, well, I've done my job today. I said, I am going to, uh, I said, it's time to get drunk. And he said, oh, God. <laughs> that's awesome. And I was like... And I totally didn't. I mean, I had a, a glass. Okay, so one of his, his parents have several whites and several reds, like from a Cabernet Franc down to like a... Oh, 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 oh. I was like, white people? and what? I was trying to think, like, what's a red one, people? Yeah. Are you we're, we're on wine. Sorry, I was like thinking about hangover cures and then you get all fancy on me. I know, I went all fancy. And... Um, so we got this, I got this bottle of wine from their vineyard when I was out there. It's called Mustang Sally. I know every time I hear that, I want to be like, Mustang Sally. Sally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's actually, it's not, it's, 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 it's fair. It's not a Moscato because it's not as sweet. Mm, Moscato is uh -huh. yum. <laughs> Ashley instantly goes racist. No, yeah, I know. <laughs> It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meow. See, this is why she gets called meow. <laughs> it's a fitting. She is a she's a meow. <laughs> oh, a distractible thing. <laughs> and that's what she said. <laughs> okay, please continue. Anyway, so no, it's so it's really good. It's it's not real sweet, but it's in in it's I can't give you it's you're gonna have to just come to the house and try some. That's all I gotta say. Okay. Was that it? What was it yeah, called? That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm done. What's Mike what's brought... what's the name of said awesomeness? Mustang Sally. And it's just a. Mm. Okay. It's, well, it's it's 
from his parents' vineyard. Oh, 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 that makes it so much cooler. Okay. Yeah, it's one of their, and, and by the way, Mustang Sally is named, it's one of the names of the llamas out there. <laughs> That's so. so freaking awesome. I want a llama. What would you do with a llama? Llama, llama. Llama, llama, llama bread. Llama bread from, isn't llama bread from Lord of the Rings? Um, Lambas. What was it? Lambas. Lambas. Lambas bread. Lambas like, bread. Okay. Llama bread. God. <laughs> I swear to you, I have not been drinking yet. I, I'm totally well, I love me some llama bread. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, thank goodness. Llama. I still haven't seen the um the last Hobbit movie. Lambus bread. Yeah. Okay, so see, but it looks like you could mistake that for llama. If you're drunk. Yeah. I I see that happening if you're drunk. I like me some llama bread. <laughs> they actually have a recipe for that for the llama bread. Really? Yeah. Some so chick, good. like some chick, her fiance or husband or something or boyfriend had never seen um, Lord of the Rings, and so she went through and. Damn it, I just needed one more of those freaking things. She went through and made, like, a six-course meal of breakfast, second breakfast, elevensies, yada, yada, yada. She made the um, Limbus bread. Wow. And I'm like, oh my god, that's, like, such a dedicated, wonderful, significant other. And I'm just like, Jacob's got the flu, and I'm like, here's your grilled cheese. <laughs> Here's some, here's some Tylenol. Call me in the morning. Right? I'm like, I'm a bad person. No. Oh my god. That's a little... So you really haven't seen the last Hobbit at all? No. So, I feel like if they were going to... If they were going to split any of the movies into three parts, it could have been maybe the last one in the trilogy, or... Not the freaking Hobbit. There was just... There wasn't enough... In no, that thirty-page book, not enough for him to split it in three and to a trilogy. I mean, yeah, maybe two, maybe two. I, I don't even know if you could have. I mean, apparently, I don't know. Like, we're a Merc is all about fight scenes and what have you, but damn, he dragged it out a little bit. I, you know, it's honestly the Lord of the Rings was much better. Um, I mean, it was still good. Yeah, that's that's what I heard. It was just, I mean, because the 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 first one that they did, I'm just like the only scene I really appreciated was um, when Bagginses was down chilling with uh, Gollum because that was the part of the book and that was the part of the cartoon when I was little that freaked me the shit out was him being down in that cave and like because I thought that was appropriately creepily awesome. But other than that, I, I'm just like okay. Oh, oh, B, since you're on here. So we were having this discussion, and I know you've, somebody, I'm pretty sure it's you, told me about it before, but you know how they have the giant eagles? Yes. Why? Why don't they just fly them all the way instead of, hey, look, here's a nice halfway point. I know this is like the fate of your people, but we're just going to drop you off on the top of a flipping mountain that you eventually have to scale down with no rope. And your freaking like hobbit dwarf fingers. Right, right, exactly. And I know there's they, there's like okay, reasoning why behind they it. Use that's... The eagles to fly to Mordor in the first place. Yes, exactly. They were a plot device. A, a shitty one. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, but I mean, wasn't there like a legit explanation? Like, it's just. Yeah, they, the way they did that, yeah. Mm. I mean, if it's fate of the freaking world, uh, fly me to Mordor. Fly me to the, you know, fly me to the Dragon Den so I can slap me up on some some delicious Cumberbatch. <laughs> oh my god, have you seen the trailers for Doctor Strange? Yes! Yeah, I was with you when we saw one. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, I had a brain fart. Sorry. Well, I, I just remember now, so we're good here. Oh my god. We okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go see that for sure. Yes, please. Jacob's so upset. He's like, all you bunch of bitches went and saw Civil War without me. Because Stephanie and Steven have seen it. Wally went and saw it. I went and saw it with you. And he's just like, I hope you all die in a fire. <laughs> we still love you, Jacob. Honestly, it's <laughs> personal. He's like, I can tell. The bad thing's guarding the skies. Yeah, but they could have at least got them, I don't know, within several miles and not drop them off. Because in both times, they drop them off on the top of a freaking mountain. How long would it take you and your freaking hobbit fingers and your dwarf fingers to climb down a mountain? And, and then... The, the swamp, you know? Yeah, like, like get me close... First of all, I'm like 50 miles away. Second of all, you left me on a mountain. Okay, that ain't cool. About, Ash, we can't talk about Civil War. Your dude has not seen it yet. Oh, I'm I'm not giving away any spoilers. I think people that give spoilers away are just need to be shot. awful. Uh, but no, I am so ready for Doctor Strange. It is not even funny. That is uh, going to be such bomb and cumberbunch. Yes, that's licalicious, by the way. Like um, Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tee Okay, Tee my stomach's growling. That and I want food. It just did it, it just did body. it on Q too. I'm like my stomach's growling. It's like Rawr! Let's see what my tower looks like. Uh I can do this so far. That one's stupid. Hmm. Floor eight's kind of stupid. Nothing's awful yet. Nothing's awful yet. Keyword yet. Floor eleven's. Yeah, I can beat the tower today. We're all good here. Did you read? I was on Reddit the other. Oh, I'm on Reddit all the time. But anyways, I was on Reddit reading. Um, James Cameron is going to do. Um, I think four more avatars. Four. Yes. Holy. Balls. Um, like, yes. is it successive or like, what are they like, doing? Like, they're going to be, they're going to be somewhat joined together, but yet singular by themselves. At the same like time. Rogue Oney. Yeah. So I, I'm kind of because Avatar is like one of my fave movies. Also, that was so. a good movie. It was, and I'm ready to see it. So. Well, that, when is it? I mean, are they filming now, or? I don't know if he's actually... He, well, I would hope so, if he's going to do four, because they're going to take some time to do, and his ass isn't young. By <laughs> um, so, yeah. Didn't, so, I don't, I don't know, but it looks like it's going to be interesting. Well, cool. And I'll have to... Yes. Uh, I'm excited. I'll, I'm trying not to look at trailers anymore. Well, I beat the... T yes. So, I beat the tower from yesterday because I just held it over in case I got a tower quest today because I was on level 11 and I'm like okay I can beat this so I technically still have my tower from today and I'll probably do the same thing I'll hold off until I get to the boss and then beat the boss tomorrow assuming I have a tower quest the gale the tower quests are just awful like sometimes they're like beat the 10th level of the tower and you have a tower where it's just ass rapage Ass rapage. Yeah, it's it's not. That's what she said, folks. Yes, it's not fun. So I, so you can I only do one tower a day is. unless you've started it the day before, and then you can bring it over, and that's typically what I do. That is with no lube and no talking dirty to you to make you want it, right? Yeah, that's just straight up going in dry. <laughs> that's. <laughs> Not fun at all. Let's see who I want to silence. Let's silence you. I'm gonna do this, and I think I'm gonna go make a shake because I don't know what time o'clock it is. What time o'clock is it? It's 12:30. That's good. Homie needs dead. Aww, I don't get my full thing for this. Thank you so much for hanging out, dude. This has been fun. I don't have to, like, come up with things to talk about by my onesies. Oh, my God. We all have to so do this again because I am having, I mean, you know, while I'm unemployed and... <laughs>
I'm trying to talk Gail into going into um, massage therapy school, but we're trying to figure out a way that she doesn't have to pay for it because nobody should pay for school. And 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 Ash, you have to t tell them why you want Gail to go into massage. So I can get free massages. Duh. <laughs> Totally, totally will give you a free massage. No worries. There. I'll be your practice dummy until, like, you get all legit and have your own studio and such. <laughs> da, Actually, da. you've got to have somebody you can practice on. So, cause See? I volunteer as tribute. I, as tribute, I would take you as my volunteer. It would be mm, my pleasure. <laughs> Dress says happy ending. He's like, do you? <laughs> happy ending, yes. All to the yes. I love that guy. And she yeah. rescued the princess and they ran off and lived happily ever after. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out and chit chatting. Gail, thank you so much for being on the stream. I am going to go food because homie be hungry and I'm about to get like hangry because my stomach's like feed me UDA. Um, it's like, get in my belly. Yeah. Um, we may stream some gamey stuff tonight. I don't know if it's gonna be Diablo or Witcher or Last of Us or whatever. Um, Steven's been streaming, so check that out. And we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging. Okay, bye! Bye! <laughs>